here which is already marinated but I don't like this marine. So, oh, this is three. I thought they were two. So I'm gonna clean this and there we have our chicken. And now I will season this little bit. This is tandoori chicken love for chicken and lamb and I think I'm gonna also I have is it this is this is beef okay not chicken so that's done I'm gonna place them And they are ready for the oven and then we'll, we're gonna be right back I thought my oven was preheating but I was wrong so that will cook for about let's say 30 minutes because the oven was not yeah So you might be wondering why I have this here. Um, and I have a plate here and a silicone brush. I also have Roy Pinchuzi mix. I have my cubes. I have tikka masala here and I have the the, ta, the tandoori for chicken and lamb I have the coconut flakes here and last but not least our favorite almond flour or powder so I'm gonna start by pouring my tikka masala, chicken tandoori, roy conchos mix. I have two cubes here one is beef the other one is beef also yeah just different color so it's gonna be hot I have to add some chili some chili some coconut and this is honey glaze. I have some food. It looks amazing, amazing, amazing. So now I'm gonna explain why I'm doing this. Yet the chicken is in the oven. Uh, so many people eat fried chicken that is coated in wheat. But since I'm on no wheat diet, I decided to put my chicken in the oven instead of frying I also mine will be coated in coconut flakes and almond almond powder now you get it so this is kinda my secret recipe or secret um, spices marinade how do you call it seasoning but now you have it so I'll pour my
So the reason why I did a little marinating on my chicken, yet I'm gonna do it again, was because um, I wanted when I put it in the oven that the all the spices will suck in the chicken. So once I remove it, I remove it or them, all the seasonings will be well incorporated in the, in the ch chicken. Also, this comes last because you see uh, coconut powder and almond, they can burn or uh, very fast or cook very fast. That's why I wanted this to be the last coat. So now I have this here, I will remove my chicken and then we'll start working on it. So my chicken is here and it's very hot and it's juicy, which is very good. So yes, it's very hot. for better results and so here is what we have they look like they are ready yes so I'm gonna put this in the oven it's still hot and then we'll come back and I'm, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna cover with the foil I've covered with the foil. I'm gonna cook for 30 minutes before when I didn't cook for 30 minutes. Okay, remember the oven was not hot. So now I'm gonna cook for 30 minutes. I don't want it to also overcook, so I'm gonna cook for 30 minutes and then I'm gonna remove the foil, cook for 15 minutes because I want to have the I don't want it so juicy. I, I prefer it a bit crunchy. And then I'm gonna show you the result. Okay, my sizzling hot chicken. I just came from the shower and finished cleaning around anyway my chicken is ready it's very ready like this is detached the chicken is so it's very very ready So let me try it too. And put it there to rest. So I have here some thigh work. Thigh work, thigh work. So this is two minutes in pan. Onions, paprika, these herne things, also carrots and spinach. Yeah. Here we go this is very simple very delicious i've not tried yet but i know it's very delicious so uh thank you guys for 
watching my videos and my subscribers are increasing and I'm so grateful for that so like this video give it a thumbs up comment down below share with your friends so that they can also benefit and I'll see you in the next video